hello guys welcome to blender tutes 3d in this video i'm going to show you how to create this by using randomized transform and we're going to apply cool looking image texture to it for that i'm going to new project and deleting the light and camera for now i'm going to select the object go to front view and scaling it on y x axis now going to side view and moving it on z axis now we are going to apply modifiers to it before that we need to apply scale for that control a and apply scale now select the object go to modifiers properties and add a bevel modifier now i'm going to change these values and i'm going to change the amount to something like 0 0.04 and i'm going to increase the segments to 4 now select the object shade smooth And now instead of duplicating these objects we are going to apply array modifier for that select object and click on add modifier and select array modifier and if you see the duplicate has been created on x axis but we need it on y axis so i'm going to change the factor of x to 0 and y to 1 now i'm going to change the count to 18 and if you see there is no gap between the objects but i need some gap between these objects for that i'm going to change the y value to 1.01 and that's good now i want duplicates these on z axis as well for that i'm going to add one more error modifier and i'm going to change the count to 8 and changing the factor to z on 1.01 now we're going to apply randomized transform before that we need to apply these modifiers now we are going to apply randomized transform but before that we need to separate these to an individual object and if we see all these objects has only single origin we need to change that for that select the object go to edit mode press a to select all and we need to separate these for that press p to separate and by loose parts and go to object mode and if you see you can select an individual object in order to apply randomized transform every object has to be a origin for that we are going to select all press right click and set origin to geometry and if you see every object has its own origin now select all under object transform you can see randomized transform click on that one and if you see there is a pop-up click on that one you can randomize by using the seed or location rotation and scale for now this project i'm gonna use rotation on y-axis if you change the values you can see on randomly it will changing the directions and if you want to change the positions you can change the seed as well for now i'm gonna change it to zero now i'm gonna adjust these y values something around 27 it's good now good and now we're going to apply image texture to it for the select all go to edit mode by pressing tab a to select all and we need to unwrap this first first third press u to unwrap and we're going to unwrap it from project from view and if you go to uv editing you can see the unwrap before that we're going to add image texture to it for that go to shading tab and you can see here and select the principal bsdf shader and press ctrl t to enable node wrangler you see the image texture has been assigned along with mapping and texture coordinate here we have used unwrap so we need to select uv to vector and now i'm gonna open and select the image texture and if you see it has been assigned now go to uv editing tab and on and if you see the colors is not aligned properly at that we are going to change it select all a and scale it a little bit up and adjust the position with colors and it looks good now now go to 3d viewport and go to render tab and now change the render engine to cycle and if you have gpu you can select that one and now we're going to add lighting to it for third shift a and under light add area light now select 
now select that one and scale it on y axis and move it to the top and scale a little bit on y axis now go to side view and change and rotate now go to lighting properties and change the power value to something around 1500 now we're going to duplicate this one to bottom C and rotating it and if you see it is perfect and now we're going to add more bright uh, to the background for that go to world properties and change the color to little bit up and now we're going to disable this background go to renders tab renders properties and under film you can see transparent click on that one now i'm going to apply background for this one for that simply add a plane scale it and bring it to back rotate first rotate it on y axis 90 and move it to back and go to front view see and adjust the position and now i'm gonna add a color to it click on new and change it to black and move a little bit forward and it looks good now add a camera by shift a and camera now press n and click on view tab and camera to view press n now click on zero and if you see the camera and scroll it back and adjust the position Now press N and uncheck the camera to view. Press N. And now go to render tab, render properties, and we're going to change color management. Here I'm going to select standard and changing it to very high contrast, or you can change it to high contrast. Very okay, high contrast is fine. Now change the max samples to something around 5 to 12 and check the denoise tab now render the image 